him and another general were out bird hunting. His driver was from White Lake Township, which is just west of Pontiac here. Mm -hmm. I talked to him about 10 years ago or so, mm -hmm. and it was a piece out of the Pontiac uh, Press, mm -hmm. and that where I got his name in that there. Mm -hmm. General Patton, he was General Patton's driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His last name was Woody, I don't know what his first name was. Mm -hmm. They had come up by this lot mm -hmm. that I was working on, mm -hmm. went across the railroad tracks, mm -hmm. the road divided up to the Ryan River. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a couple blocks into this divided road, mm -hmm. on the right hand side was a quartermaster outfit. Okay. A two and a half ton truck came down and made a left-hand turn without stopping, and this is where the accident happened. Oh. Just a couple blocks from this lot where I had worked at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get over there till July of 1946. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of our first sergeants, mm -hmm. Sergeant Ray Norris, mm -hmm. and I had a picture of him home and I couldn't find it mm -hmm. today, okay. was one of the four men mm -hmm that picked General Patton up and put him in this ambulance. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. In talking to uh, Woody, mm -hmm. he's, uh, this was like I'm saying 10 years ago, mm -hmm. he said of all the correspondents, none of them ever interviewed him. Oh. Why, I don't know. Oh. He also said, mm -hmm. General Patton was coming home the next day to be discharged. Mm -hmm. General Patton never received a paycheck while he was in the Army. Whether he refused it, mm -hmm. donated it, I don't know. Oh. Apparently his family was a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that there. Mm -hmm. I understood from coming from uh, uh, Woody, General Patton did not accuse him of calling this accident oh, okay. and that there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Patton lived about 10 days before he passed away. He broke his neck oh. and uh, he lived about 10 days. Mm -hmm. Today, maybe a possibility the man could have lived with the technology mm -hmm. we have in and mm -hmm. that there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, when when you were in Germany, how how long? Uh, in, uh, excuse me. What type of what, what did you do? Let's say uh, off duty or well, uh, for recreation when you were well, in Germany. We had we had uh, three buildings, mm -hmm. three story. I think each one was three story. Barracks, sleeping quarters was one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second building, we had a uh, a uh, uh, mess hall into it. Mm -hmm. Third building, I'm not sure. Okay. Now, we had a, uh, and the Sergeant Norris mm -hmm. opened up a, uh, a bar mm -hmm. and he run it. Okay. We had a little garden out front, mm -hmm. and I can remember this one with the dance hall. Mm -hmm. The German girls had come in, and, and as far as I know, most of them spoke English. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was in school, apparently, I, but anyway, this one night, I went, I was, there were three or four of us sitting out mm -hmm. in, on a table mm -hmm. in this little garden. Mm -hmm. Something happened out at the uh, the gate, mm -hmm. and we had Polish DPs doing a lot of guard work, mm -hmm. and that there. Mm -hmm. The other three guys, well, let's go. Ah, what the heck? I said, uh, Sergeant Norris passed by me. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mac. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Turned around. He says, Hey, I want to talk to you. What do you want? 